Welcome back to you Learn Tutorial. If you just watch how I place images in Illustrator, I'm going to show you in the next few videos on how to recreate logos with geometric shapes. Hi, my name is Michael Chow, and today we will be using the geometric shapes and the eyedropper to sample colors from the image in Illustrator to recreate the Microsoft logo. Let's create a new document. Any size is fine. If we have to, we can always resize the logo using the free transform tool. So I'll go File, New, or Command N. I'm going to go ahead and pick my web large and one artboard. Now we will place a Microsoft logo on our artboard. So go File, New, and Place. And locate your logo, Microsoft logo. At this stage, it doesn't matter if you link it or embed it. It does not really matter because we're planning to delete this logo when we're done with this. So go ahead and place it and place it on side your document. For beginners, if you want, you can actually lock your image so it doesn't move around. To lock an image, just go to Object, Lock, Selection, or Command 2. What happens here, I'm no longer able to select this image and it won't be moved around. Select the geometric tool and select the rectangle tool. Click and drag on top of your, your shape of your logo and hold down the shift key so you can make a perfect square. While I'm drawing this out, I notice that my stroke is actually a fill of none and a stroke of none. So I'm just going to go ahead and just change that color to be green so that I can at least see it now. And there it is. If you wanted to, you could also increase your stroke just to be a little bit thicker. I'm just going to make it two strokes. I don't want to be too, too big. There's a couple of ways we can do this to duplicate a square. We can copy, Command C, and paste it in, and then size it up appropriately. Okay, that's one way. We could also just draw another box. We could also double click here, and that has the last size that we had created. That allows it to just move it with this move tool to place it where it should be. Or another way you can do it too is just by selecting the box, hold down the shift key, select one object, Hold down the shift key, select the other object, click and drag. So I have two objects here as you can see, option to get to duplicate it, and then hold down the shift key just to be the same axis as the other ones above. And then grab my second box. So I'm going to make sure my stroke is none. I'm going to make sure my fill color is on the very top color. Select my eyedropper two or eye on my keyboard and hold down the shift key so I sample my color of an image. And there we go. So I'm going to, same thing I'm going to do for my blue box. I'm going to take, a, take the stroke off, make sure the field color is the very first color. Hold down the hit the I key for the eyedropper and sample the blue color. Deselect it. Select the second object color and then sample that color as well. Okay. The next thing up here, we're going to make sure now we can group all of the stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a selection. Hold down the shift key to add to your selection as an example here. You can also do a marquee selection too as, as well. Command G is to group. Object group. I already, already grouped it here. And then because I want to delete this background image here, I'm going to go object and unlock and then delete your image. And there we go. We have your logo here. That is a redrawn, recreated Microsoft logo. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.